Welcome back. We're traveling around. We just did a little secret quest over in the lighthouse. But we are trying to kill some monsters and stuff and get some items for Orvid. Let's just go with our simple, like, hell gate. Oh, you moved. I didn't anticipate that. An aerial, then. Guarded against it. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go for a normal attack. I wasn't planning on facing those guys, so it's like, yeah, just just get through. I haven't been up here to see what's up here though. I imagine there's new monsters or something. No, it's just more of those moomin type ones. Hello. Oh, well, we faced you before, but I think we should still try and get you because I feel like there's probably a chest over there as well. Yes, yeah, what do you- Uh... Wind is pointless, the wind was stupid on that one. But it's like, yeah... Looking... The stone hammer on you. And then... Aqua bleed on you. So, let's go with an aerial now. And an aqua bleed just in case. There we go. Jenny's blazer. You open the chest to see a man's face just smiling at you. Unsettled, you back away and close the lid. Let's not open that one again. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's quite worrying. Oh, the blazer is going to be for men, isn't it? Yes. Do you need another one of those for... Still, really. Shrimpy dudes. Is there any chests or anything this way? Other than the one we had? I mean, we've got to go all the way to the border, obviously. There's new enemy types here, which might... Hello, you got all tiny! You got all tiny! Any venerable to nothing, a small... Soft body monster fuses with its own kind, explodes when defeated. Okay, try and get them defeated. So that's our biggest AoE right now, and they are vulnerable to pretty much everything, so. We're not vulnerable, just normal. That's where I'm putting it. Oh, hello. Okay, now it's different. Ah, boiled egg or. So, blue. Lots of blue. Soft body monster in the shell uses fire based arts, explodes when defeated. Okay, I could bleed. But can I hit you for normal damage? And would that kill you? I mean, yeah. We're good to go. Hmm. Reviving bomb. The chest was once full of wondrous treasures. Then you came along. Oh. Jeez. Pick up more of these little things. Maybe they'll turn into different ones and we'll get different items and stuff like that, so you never know. You never know. You never know. It's like, hmm. I'm do dark matter on you. Like, straight on the cleavage. Straight on the cleavage. Done already? Oil. Just have the items. So you need them for orbit, and I just don't know if we're gonna get different ones from these guys. Maybe try some no, I was gonna try some crafts, but I just used to think it into so um let's go straight in with the aerial again then. At least they're in the right range this time. No attack. Nah, it just seems to be olive oil from all them, doesn't it? I know the list is there, but... It's worth a check. Crimson Platter. Looking to yet another empty chest, you wonder who leaves all these lying around unlocked? Yeah! Who? And who's refilling them? What's going on here? This is very suspicious. Crone Pass. Oh, travelers! Your sort is kind of rare these days, what with all the monsters on the roads. 
Go ahead and get some rest. I bet you need it. There are a lot of strong monsters on the roads these days. Feel free to get some rest here. Oh, ho! Hello, friends! Oh, hey, Siros. I think we saw each other last when we fought those dog monster things, right? Oh, I never heard anything about this. It was back when we first fought together with Agate. And we drove off some of the intelligence division's dog monsters. <laughs> yes, they were, were a big help. So what brings you around here today? We were just on a bit of a warm-up lap before getting to serious work. And thought we'd stop by. Aha, I see. A bit of bracer training. Well, since you came all the way out here, feel free to use the facilities to rest if you need to. You want to talk about monsters, then? Uh, the ones on the road lately have been ridiculous. Thanks, we'll do that. I'll get back to work, then. If I can help with anything, uh, just give the word. Post watch is as severe as ever. They're surrounded by threats, after all. The intelligence Division remnants are spread all over the country, for starters. As hard as it is to admit, we'll need the guild's help to bring them to justice. Huh. I was hoping to rest here. Ah! I forgot there was an augment charging thing you don't want to sit here. Dun 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 dun. You guys came all the way out here just by walking? I guess there are still crazy people in the world. You guys have some kind of a normal love of walking in the mountains? The Bose region lies beyond here. We don't have time to head for other regions. Let's focus on our work here in Ruan. Aww. But the temple at Bose! Ah, it's hard up here in the mountains with so little to do. Heard a new casino open in Ruan, too. But the only pleasures we have up here is Officer Rose's cooking. If he ever leaves the service, he should definitely become a cook. About the only pleasure we have up here is cooking. Change that. If he leaves the service, he should definitely become a chef. The Royal Army remains at a very high state of general alert. Mostly because we don't know the location of the Kapua Sky Band. It's all the remaining intelligence division insurrectionists. Even setting the Kapua gang aside, those ID rebels are quite a problem on their own. Say whatever else you will about them, they're also highly trained killers. We need to find them and stop them. Fair enough. Right, so let's head all the way back. Because we can't fast travel, so we've got to walk. That's what I talk about when I say like like gameplay differences between like this and Cold Steel. It's like it's not just like it's like people have pointed out like when I said in that term, messing around like the game has faults because it does because it's a character called Fault, so it does definitely have faults. But we've been through that. That's the joke in that. Right, but ow, I'm trying to run back. Leave me alone. But yes, I pointed out like. The gameplay in here is a bit more simple compared to Cold Steel, and people are like, no, 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 the, the battles are just as, like, well-informed, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, but I don't just mean the battles. Gameplay is more than just battles. So people didn't get that for some reason. It's like, how about fast travel? That's part of the gameplay. It's like, it is part of the gameplay. Like, there's more mini-games and such in Cold Steel than there was in the FC. So it's like, mm, yeah, that all counts. That all counts. Right, so let's head to the, for, for the orphanage. We've not heard more about this priest, though, have we? Just suspicious of whether or not it's Kevin. I don't feel like you'll be here because he seemed busy in Grantsel, so. Hmm. Uh, we should actually check with Orbit, though, see if we've got anything new to give him as a result of what we just did previously. Still suspicious about you as well. It's like there's little things I'm just suspicious of all over the place. You know how I am. Oh, did you find something? I think that's nothing then. Hmm. Fortunately, nothing you. Yeah, right, okay, okay. I'm guessing we're going to be heading somewhere, probably. That has new items. Probably the old schoolhouse, I'd imagine. You know how it is. Okay, is this the way? I think it is, yes. Holy. Wow. It's pretty. Wasn't there a nasty fire here? Looking at this, you'd barely know there'd been so much as a campfire lately. I think they built the building the same way, just, uh, newer. 
Thank the goddess, this is so wonderful. Estelle? Matron Teresa. Yes, I thought it was you. Welcome back. In the pre- I'm glad to see you. And I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. We haven't, uh, my apologies. I'm Sherazard Harvey, Estelle's Bracer Mentor. I have, however, heard a great deal about you from a certain someone, Matron Teresa. You're a loving motherly figure to every child here, and apparently your tea is first rate. Oh my, I am flattered. Uh, congratulations on getting the orphanage rebuilt. I'm amazed. That's pretty much exactly how it used to be, too. <laughs> I know it sounds silly to ask them to build it that way, but everyone was kind enough to humor me. Can't imagine this orphanage looking any other way. It just wouldn't be the same. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. So, are the kids inside? Uh, no, they're actually out in Minoria for class. A traveling priest comes by once a week. Old Sunday school for us, you see. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a problem, though. See, we actually want to ask the kids about something, on top of just saying hello. Oh? Would this have to do with the white man, Polysaur? Ah, uh, probably, yes. White man is different from ghost. See, so it was Polly who saw the person... thing. I always did peg her as a sharp one. Well, come inside. You can wait here until they return. I do have some tea on the kettle, and a few snacks, too, on the kettle. Thanks. Estelle, what's wrong? Matron Teresa. You're not going to ask about Joshua, are you? Uh, Chloe already told me everything. She worries easily, and she needed to unburden her soul onto someone when she found out. Estelle, you've been through so much. I... <laughs> come on. You say things like that, I... I can't hold it in. That was Estelle. You don't need to hold it in. You shouldn't. I, I'm all too familiar with how it feels to lose someone important. Aw. Now, now, don't say anything. I may not be able to be a mother for you, but at the very least I can hold you for a little while. Aw. Oh, that was embarrassing. No! Yeah, I was wanting to show up and you have them. I'm a big, tough bracer woman now. That's right, you are a senior bracer now, aren't you? Congratulations, Estelle. <laughs> well, I'm still kind of green, to be honest. Speaking of my little crying jag, though... Izzy, you mentioned that Chloe was worried about us. Yes, about you and Joshua, specifically. She saw her precious friends suffering and felt powerless to do anything for them. She struggled with it. She desperately wants to help you. Precious friends? <laughs> what kind of awful she's been tearing herself up so much over it, but I'm glad she cares. I really need to see her, go see her soon. I believe the Janus campus is closed to visitors right now due to the end of term examinations. Uh, those should be over soon, though, and you can see her then. Sounds like a plan. Also, you know, the kids are a little bit late, aren't they? I don't remember Sunday school taking this long. They may be playing in the village after class. The new traveling priest who's been coming by does seem like he's fond of children. A new traveling priest, huh? Hey, why does that sound familiar? I still don't feel like it should be Kevin, though. Like, I, he, last time we saw him, he was busy under Gransel. Let's head to Minoria to see if they're all right, then. We'll bring them home if we need to. Good idea. Are you sure? I wouldn't want to trouble you. <laughs> it's no problem. Think of it as thanks for the great tea and snacks. You also owe her for that big hug back there. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be waiting here for your return. That was so nice of her. So nice. Sunday school over at Minoria Village should be finished soon. I'm sorry, but could you bring back the children? Minoria Village is out west along the Gull Seaside Way, so I'm sure, as I'm sure you know. Please take care of the children. We'll check upstairs, see if there's anything going on before we... Come back. Let's see. Uh, still got a lamp. There's Calvert spies around still, though. Everywhere. Look, see? One there. One there. Everywhere. Everywhere. Chickens! Ah! Trapped! Damn chicken! Come back! I got one! 
come back here. Come here. Yes. Dear God, that took some effort. Any, any hidden chests, or hidden eggs, or hidden hidden chickens? I don't know what's going on anymore. My, she's a wonderful person. Something about her reminds me of Lena. Quite a few things, actually. We thought so too, Shara. She reminds me a bit of Mom, too. But more than anyone, she reminds me of the Queen. She, I don't know, just warms your heart, I guess. It's the compassionate heart of a mature woman, really. Uh, I feel a bit inadequate on that score in comparison. Hey, you do a pretty good job at it too, Shara. I mean, if you want to be better at it, maybe cutting back on the booze would help a bit. Ouch. Right for the jugular there, still. Anyway, let's get to Benoria and collect the kids, hmm? Indeed. Let's see who this traveling priest is. Again, I don't feel like it's gonna be... Ah, Minoria. It's like a dog's age since I was here last. You were literally just here a few minutes ago, but alright. Before we had tea? Come to think of it. I don't really get how to, to Ruan in general all that much. You don't, huh? I always figured you and Dad went all over the place, not just Roland. I mostly keep to Roland, to be honest. I go out to Bose and Glancel often enough, mind, but that's about it. The only ones I can think of. With absolutely no roots would be your father as a bracer and Hackett. Oh yeah, Hackett does kind of strike me as a wanderer. I don't think I've ever seen him in Roland, though. Or have I? Mm hmm. I think he tends to avoid Roland since, well, Cassius lives there. He has some uh, issues with Cassius that make it a bit hard for them to work together. Issues, huh? <laughs> I think I get it. But how Hackett and Annalise are doing, come to think of it. They just started investigating, too. I doubt they're all that far ahead of us. Alright, the children should be in Sunday school around here somewhere. Let's poke around a bit and figure out where that would be, hmm? Right. I mean, I know where it'll be. I'm going to head straight there. Like, where else would I go? Like, Sunday school up here. It was on the door. Sunday school, class in session. Oh, hey! Here's the Sunday school. Given that the sign's still up, I guess they're still in class. Shall we poke our noses in? They might have ended for the day. Simply forgot to take the sign down. Good idea. Let me take a peek. Okay, let's see. Wait a sec. I know that guy. My suspicions, based on the weapons at the stores. Olivier? Nope. It is him. Alright, then I really didn't expect him to be Kevin. Like, how did he get here from Kransel so fast? Hmm. They do not deserve your sympathy. In truth, Pedro did not think Duke Gaston would back down so easily. And what of the machinations of that foul masked puppeteer, Harlequin? Capri, Pedro's teacher, seemed to know the jester, but simply dodged any questions about him with frustrating vagueness. Regardless, Pedro knew another battle would come, and soon he would have to upgrade the Blue Knight if he hoped to emerge victorious. Oh, Pedro... A slightly irritated yet comforting voice snapped Pedro from his reverie. Do you wish for your tea to grow cold? Oh, God, no. Oh. Oh, just the idea. Oh. Oh, I feel ill. The clear blue eyes which met his own carried their own message. It will be all right. Pedro, a little embarrassed, took his tea and drank deeply. It was enough to simply have this moment with her. The end. That's the dull night, kids. That's it? What about the fight with Harlequin? Oh, Clem, you're such a dummy. That's a wonderful ending. I just know Pedro and Tia go on to get married and live happily ever after. Ah, uh, so romantic. Yeah, yeah. They got married and be happy. I want some of that tea. I know how you feel, Daniel. Yeah, please, so cool. Phew. All 22 chapters of the Dawn Knight in one sitting for a bunch of rambunctious kids. You want to talk challenges? All right, kiddos, that's enough for one day. Class is over. Aww. Thank you for teaching us, Mr. Graham. Okay, uh, never underestimate this group of kids again. Oh, who's at the door? That's just wrapped up, so come on in. 
<laughs> you noticed me. Guess I stuck my nose in a little too far. Sorry for intruding. Huh, hey? What? Estelle. Hi, kids. It's great to see you again. Are you guys doing okay? Holy moly, did you come to play? This is great. It's been forever. Mrs. Estelle, play with me. Me. Welcome back. Welcome back in the previous part. <laughs> well, you haven't lost her any energy, it seems. And Father Kevin, it's been a while. Ah, she remembers me. Of course I do. Ah, oh, though, you really are a priest, despite the getup. Really, why all the hate on my awesome dads? But hey, what are the chances we meet again here of all places? Could this be... fate? The choice of Stein's kid. Ah, I see. So you're, you've met Father Kevin before, Estelle. The world really is a small place. I know, right? Craziness. Thanks for lunch, by the way. It was excellent. No, no. It's no trouble. Besides, it's the least I can do in return for what you've done for the children. Hey, Estelle. How come Joshua's not with you today? Ah, you see... He's pretty busy with something, so he couldn't come today. Triple dot. Ah, oh, too bad. I wanted Joshua to see the orphan jaw fixed up, too. Me, too. I want to see him dressed up like a princess again. So pretty. <laughs> anyway, you guys were in Sunday school for a while. What was that you were reading when we came in? Some kind of novel? <laughs> it's called The Doll Knight. It's an awesome action story about fights between puppeteers. Oh, no, it wasn't. It's sorts of brains. It was a romance. A desperate... Love between a noble lady and a common man. Hmm, desperate love. It's a young adult novel series I brought with me when I came to La Belle. I had planned on reading it to the kids a little at a time, but they, uh, convinced me to do it all in one go. <laughs> I guess the way you get caught up in stuff kind of backfired there. Oh, thank you for your devotion, Father Kevin. You'll be heading back to Rouen now, I take it. Yep, next logical step, really. I got other villages to visit, so I need to hop on an airship soon. Speaking of, how come you're in one yourself, Estelle? Raise a business, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Wait, on that note, came out here to ask about something. Um, I believe you wanted to ask about the white man, Polly saw. Oh, yeah, that thing. Mm, you want to ask me stuff? Yes, Polly, we have a question. Can you tell us about the white man you saw a little while ago? White man was a white man. He was spinning like a top, and he was neo and fat. Um, we were hoping for a bit more. Uh, let me try and explain it a bit better. It was about four days ago. Polly was outside, just kind of spacing out, which is, you know, usual for her. And then she saw a white man floating in the air. Yeah, he was dancing around in circles in the sky. And when I tried to talk to him, he bowed and flew away like a birdie. Bowed, you say? We totally asleep and dreamed up the whole thing. I mean, come on. That is the lamest ghost story ever. Thought she might be dreaming at first as well, but it seems someone else saw it too. Right, Daniel? Uh, yeah, I, I only saw a little there. At night I saw a weird white shadow flying off to the east. White shadow, okay, that's different from white man. So it's like... Hmm... Oh, two minutes makes this quite a... Bit more believable. Bowing and leaving when addressed, though. Curious. Well, I have one more question, and it's important. Do you remember what his face looked like? He wore a mask. I don't know what his face looks like. He's wearing a weird mask. A mask? Oh, that's not your average ghost, then. Hey, Polly, you need to say this stuff. Never mentioned that before. But nobody asked. Oh, well, masks aside... It seems it wasn't just a dream. Once Daniel told me about it, I contacted the Bracer Guild just in case. I've been watching for it since then, but there's been no sign of it. Hmm. Well, thank you for your time, Agent Teresa. This has given us a lot to mull over. It's him. Estelle, Sherazard, whenever you're in Yulwan, you're more than welcome to stop by. Father, I'll see you next time. There's a class, I hope. Yeah, you bet. Absolutely. I'll drop by every time I have a chance. See you, Father Kevin. You too, Estelle. I'll bring Joshua next time, too. Yeah. 
I don't know when I'll be back, but come see me again. Uh -huh. Man, those kids are energetic. But I wonder though, whether or not their matron qualifies for sainthood. Because every single one of them was among the most polite, wonderful kids I've ever met. Yeah, Matron Teresa's amazing. There's actually another uh, girl who helps out here too. She's busy with her school exams and couldn't get out here today though. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm heading back to Rwanda for a bit. How about you guys? Wanna come with? Hmm, well, we have nothing left to investigate here. As they say, the journey is more important than the destination. So certainly, let's be off. If only a certain subset of a certain fanbase could take that into account. Anyway, it's decided then. Off we go to Ruan. Let's go! Back inside. We've got Kevin around, have we? All right. Oh, it's Mr. Kevin! It's Kevin, Mr. Kevin! Will I see the white old guy again? Uh, I, I uh, don't know. Sorry, but even all Mr. Kevin doesn't know the guy's schedule. Oh, I want to meet him again. We could spin around and round in the sky. It was really fun. I wonder if the white shadow would come again. That's different though, white shadow is different to white man. Does Polly want to see the white shadow again? No, white man, different. He's so silly sometimes. Polly's so silly sometimes. It's like, it's just that just different wording, it's like... There's, there's a, is it gonna be a case of like, there's a, a, the Phantom Thief B? Blue Blanc. But also, a Nosferatu. Oh, it's so bad Joshua's not with you. I wanted to show him how hard I'm working too. Hey Stel, you see Joshua, be sure to tell him, okay? That I'm here working hard with everyone else. Um, yeah, got it. I'll definitely tell Joshua. Yeah, it's a promise. Give my best to Joshua. Anyway, gotta get back to weeding. Just making sure that wasn't the same data. Yeah. I'm very sorry about today. Thank you for going out and getting the children. Come by again, any time you like. We know you're always welcome here. Are you in Rwan? Come by anytime you like. She would would love to see you. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh. So where's the other kids? I can only see three of them. Ah, oh, there we are. I wonder what that white shadow was. It was a ghost. Should have been scarier, right? Mm-hmm. We're missing one. We're missing one. There's only four. She just gone back. Unless she was inside, I just completely missed. It's entirely possible. Go in the door. Don't see anyone moving? Nope, no missing one. Okay, fair enough. She's dead. That's how it works. She died. At the end. Okay, so I'm thinking. What we shall do is actually end this part here, and in the next part, we'll just explore Minoria again a little bit. Because obviously, dialogue will update, because we've got Kevin around, so things will be slightly different now, I'd imagine. So, we shall see you in the next part. Ta-ta, for now.